Hi everybody, welcome, I'm Rami. In the previous part, we saw and explored how to create a mask using the HSV image format. This from an image with a white background, getting the foreground item to do whatever we want. In this one, we're going to create a pipeline to read all the images from a folder and process them into a target folder. So let's start. We're going to create three functions. The first called process single is going to process the given image loaded using OpenCB. This is the code that we saw on the last part. Then a function called make mask from path to save the mask, giving a source path, the target path, and a reprocess flag. Then a function to process a list of the path of images that needs, well, the list of the path images, the save path, and the reprocess flag. Lastly, we're going to have the if name main condition to run the code when running from the terminal. All right, let's start with the first function. We're going to go over this one a little bit quick because we covered this code in the first part. So from the source image, we convert to the HSV format using OpenCB. Then we select the light or value channel using slicing. We get a threshold cut. Here we use the mean of the channel. Then we use the in range method to cut the values we want according to the threshold we select, in this case from zero to the mean. Lastly, use morphology to close some gaps that we have in the middle of the mask. Then we return the mask, the inverse of the mask, and the image cutout using bitwise add. We could also multiply the mask to the image and we get the same result. Hey, if you're enjoying the video, consider subscribing and giving a like. Thanks. Awesome. Let's go over the make mask from path. This is simply what the name of the function says. We process one image from a path, but we need to get something sorted out. First, we see that the source image exists. If it doesn't, we return false. Then we read the image. And if we had a problem, say OpenCV can open it and it's none, we also return false. Now we set the target file name. Here we split the name from the path using the split method, then we create a hash with this string and we get the absolute, so we don't have negatives. We do this to have a uniform name generation, so our file names look better. Then we check if the target exists and if their process is not required. If any of these are false, we process the image. If the file exists and we don't require a process, we skip. Now we call process single with the loaded image and we get our results. Lastly, we write our three processed images. So this will be our results from a single image. We have our original image, our normal mask, and then the crop of the original to the mask. All right, our last function, this will take the list of path, iterate, iterate over them, and generate the images. We first create the save path using the path leaf library. The stats list, we hold the times from each iteration, so we have the average time in the end. We enumerate the path list, we call the make mask from path function with the image path, the save path, and the degree process values. Then for printing, we have the file name, the counter to the length of the list, and the amount of time the current image took. At the end, we print the average run, calculating the median of the task list. Great, that was our functions. Let's see now the parsing of the commands. We're going to use arg parse for this. We have our data set argument, then the save path that defaults to mask the S, then the process flag that defaults to false. Now we list the folder source using OS list there. This will only give us the list of the file names inside that source list. Using the map function, we add the full path to the given name. This using the OS path join, the dataset argument, and the image file. And that said, let's run this. As you can see, it's pretty fast. I thought I needed to implement the processing or a sync and await for this, but it wasn't necessary. Maybe in the future, I make something that requires doing so. What do you think? Got any ideas? Anyways, that was it. Maybe there is a part three going on some improvements or using entirely new method. Who knows? Consider subscribing and I see you in the next one. Goodbye.